My BFI player choice this week is one of the greatest coming-of-age movies of all time, a semi-autobiographical 1959 Nouvelle Vague masterpiece from Francois Truffaut, the title of which refers to an expression meaning to raise hell or to lead a wild life, Les Quatre Cents Coups, The 400 Blows. Oh mon Dieu, Antoine, il m'a sûrement vu. Ton fils, c'est lequel des deux Le châtain. Mais je ne comprends pas, il devrait être à l'école en ce moment. Qu'est-ce que tu vas prendre ce soir Penses-tu Elle n'osera jamais le dire à mon père. Comment le type ben, Je ne l'ai jamais vu. Ben, alors comme ça, t'es sauvé 15-year-old Jean-Pierre Léo, who was nominated for BAFTA's Best Newcomer Award, plays restless spirit Antoine Boinel, a character whom Truffaut, here making his directorial feature debut, would return in a succession of movies. It was to be an enduringly creative collaboration that spanned two decades, from the Antoine and Colette segment of the anthology Love at 20, to the features Stolen Kisses, Bed and Board, and Love on the Run. In 2000, Leo won an honorary César for his contribution to cinema, not least for his portrayal of Antoine. Striving to depict not the dewy-eyed memory, but rather the painful, yearning experience of adolescence, Truffaut opens his film with a driving sequence through the streets of Paris in which the Eiffel Tower seems elusively out of reach, and closes it with an epochal final shot in which Antoine looks directly into the camera as if challenging the audience. In between, he offers an affectingly authentic portrayal of the tribulations of teenage years, creating a set text, the influence of which would reverberate through movies as diverse as George Lucas's 1973 hit American Graffiti and Greta Gerwig's 2017 charmer Lady Bird, of which the director said that she wanted to create a female counterpart to films like The 400 Blows. At the 1959 Cannes Film Festival, Truffaut won the award for Best Director and would go on to share an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay with Marcel Moussi. He would receive further Oscar nominations for Day for Night, which won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. But the story of one of the most illustrious careers of French cinema starts here. Oh. 